Channel Vista in Pelican Crest. This house has been worked on for many, many months. Besides being a beautiful original build back in the early 2000s, this home has been revitalized, reimagined to just kind of live like the way you do today. Let me take you guys through a tour on this one. This is one of my favorite properties ever, and it's primarily because of just the scale. Look at the door, how substantial. I mean, it just almost takes two hands to open. Come on in. So a lot of homes have some amazing features. This one really ties in, I think, the best of what this particular part of uh, Orange County being Newport Coast offers. You've got the scale, you've got the architecture, you've got all the detail, and you've got the amazing ocean views. If I show you guys a couple things. So dual floating staircase, very hard to do. You need a wide flat lot to do it. This one does it very well. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour kind of show you what this house is and what it offers. The other thing is right when you walk in the front door, you, you can look right through the formal dining room and you're just looking at unobstructed ocean with no immediate rooftop. So the lot location of itself is phenomenal. This is a, just such a treat to be in this property, but I'm gonna show you guys a couple quick things. Let me show you guys this executive office. It's not a regular office. You got, you got double door entrance here and that means that it's substantial. You've got not only one, but two French doors. This is a great workspace, but this is a place you can have meetings. By the way, that's what differentiates an office and an executive office in a custom estate like this. It means you can house people in it. It's not just for you to get work done. It's not your COVID office. That's an executive substantial office. Now this isn't a regular guest suite. And how do we know? We've got a king size bed. We've got oversized spaces. We've got your own fireplace, spacious closet, private little veranda off the back here, as well as double French doors to kind of mirror what was done in the office. Gosh, I gotta tell you, I love the ceiling treatment. It was all just repainted and reimagined. It all just feels so relevant and new. This is like a beautiful hotel that was there, but restored, so you don't have to worry about doing something like ridiculous, like knocking it down and trying to make some modern monstrosity. This is European finished quality at its finest, brought back to life. So check this out. Once I step down here, pretty much like a flat open concept. Normally I'd be in the family room in the kitchen, but this has got an actual salon. Now what is a salon? A salon is, could be a formal living room, but just bigger. You've got a space to entertain. This is for grand entertaining. We decided to stage it with a seating area here with Alexander the Great. Obviously you could do that or put a, um, a piano there, excuse me, with the acoustics or the curvature would be perfect for it. Look at the size of this. I mean, not one coffee table, but two. The views are, they're just, I'll let you decide for yourself, but they are some of the best of any property anywhere in Newport, let alone Newport Coast. This particular property is phenomenal. You've got direct access right outside. Take a look at this. Covered loggia spaces, beautiful precast anywhere. Anywhere that the owners could have spent money when they originally did this house, they spent it. Stonework, moldings. There's no precast around the doorways that we just came from, from the office and the guest suite. That's actual marble. That's stone around it. That is called a blank check build. You've got this beautiful lower level, which gives daylight to the basement. And it gives you the ability to put that bar there, which again, every day you might not use, but when you want to have a great party, a special event, the baby shower of your child's dreams, a fundraiser, this is the backyard to do it. Now, you got a pool that looks like very hotel-esque. You got fire features. Now think about it. this home is 20 years old and it has these amenities in it. Again, brought back to life. You'll see what, what was going on with the remodel, but take a look at this. This is impossible to find. What do I mean by that? Now, again, we've got a little geyser going on with a sprinkler from the community. It's, uh, li listen, luckily the gardeners were going on. It feels like whenever we want to record a video of one of our properties, there's some kind of noise nuisance, but in this case, that's gone and we've got this weird geyser, but check this out. You've got no rooftops, almost 180 degrees of pure ocean and coastline. That means you've got San Clemente Island. You've got Catalina directly 12 o'clock. You've got Palos Verdes, which are the three points, sometimes called the Trinity here. And you've got the jetty. You've got obviously all of the coastline. I'm looking at Whitewater. I'm looking at piers all the way up to Palos Verdes. That's a jaw dropper. Year round sunsets too. Again, check the box, check the box, check the box. This house has everything. Come on in. We're going to show you the rest of it. <music>
logical floor plan. It's built for everyday living, but really there to be able to accentuate a massive grand party. Now, talk about massive. This is a, could be 12 as much as a 16 person dining table. This thing is massive. It was made for the house originally, and it was just, look at stone slabs were put on this to kind of bring it back. That's what I mean. Instead of discarding it and just putting some restoration hardware table here, they ended up refabricate or fabricating this beautiful stone to make it really fit the space and today's look. You've got this ceiling feature that I love, the drama when you walk in, the scale of this room. I've never seen a dining room that does kind of what this one does with the wow factor. Come on in over here. So double doors, usually you're gonna keep them open, but if you're serving, you're gonna come right into what I'm standing in the breakfast nook. You've got this massive kitchen with a whole prep area in the back and gosh, the views are I don't know. You might need some Kleenex if you come and see this house. That's how emotional the views are. I don't know what it is about this particular property. It just feels like that feeling you get on the best vacation of your life. The honeymoon phase, like the wedding emotional. I don't know what it is. God, it's just such a spectacular view. I can't say enough about it. You got this side little courtyard here with a beautiful barbecue area, another bar area over there. Look at the massive kitchen island here. This was done with beautiful book matched true Italian Carrera marble. This is a classic look that was brought up. Trust me that this kitchen didn't look like this months ago. This was all redone. You got all the creature comforts of a chef's kitchen, Viking appliances. You got this overflow area. Now, some might say, hey, I wanna have a second kitchen. This house doesn't just have one big main kitchen. What it has is a full catering kitchen. That means you've got commercial grade appliances down below. So if you wanna throw a big event, you like to cook on high heat or you're gonna make a mess and you don't wanna damage this beautiful stone. You've got that kitchen that's really a utility space. The elevator's right here, I'll show you guys. The elevator's right here, so when you come in the garage, you can drop your stuff off in the lower kitchen, come up here and kinda of use this as a showcase kitchen. Check this out. This is incredible space. This is your everyday use room. This is, I love the ceiling treatments. When the interior designer and the gentleman who really kind of spearheaded this whole remodel, Sean Hashemian, when he did all this, he wanted to make the moldings look like something that shouldn't be ripped out. That really is gonna make the house beautiful, just showcasing it at a beautiful, subtle level. And with all this beautiful staging, it just kind of all became one and it's really cohesive. The backyard space over here on this side of the property, totally different view, by the way. You've got this beautiful fire feature here, a uh, sit down fireplace. Man, it's just breathtaking. The privacy, I forgot to mention earlier, the privacy on this particular property, there's no windows that you can see on another property except maybe one on that particular property. The privacy level on this one is very rare. It's hard to check all those boxes when people go, hey, how did this house list at that price? How is it 38,998,000? It's because it checks almost every box. There's no perfect house, I can assure you that. This one's as close as you're gonna get. Again, we'll kind of go through it. You guys be the judge of it. This is a fun little vignette space here. This is set up as a little bar area. You got some wine storage, so that way, kind of your every day when you want to just dine in this informal space, you can grab your favorite bottle of wine, you can pop open a drink or a cold one, and you don't have to go all the way down to the wine cellar. So we're pretty much wrapped up on the main level here, the grade level. We're gonna run downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys all the cool features in the basement spaces from the theater to the spa and everything. I'm gonna see you guys down there. So we're at the lower level, technically the basement level of 16 Channel Vista. You've got not only the big showcase kitchen above, like I was mentioning, you've got this full catering kitchen. Now look, oven, oven, two warming drawers, microwave, freezer, fridge. These are commercial grade, true appliances. Now, what's the benefit of this space? You've got, look, if you come over here, this is not a normal hood, right? This is stuff you'd find in a beautiful restaurant. You've got eight burners, a griddle, and not just one high heat wok, but you've got two high heat areas that are gonna be perfect for that special kind of cooking. That means it's a hot mess in here. You don't wanna do this up in your beautiful kitchen. Again, really nice quartz all tone on tone here was done in kind of this industrial, almost uh, not industrial, but kind of very kind of rustic uh, stone flooring that kind of has that weathered look and it actually is, they're reclaimed. Um, we've got a pool table here that 
Again, should be delivered any minute now with some new lighting. This is an outdoor lounge area. This is a great opportunity to either keep this for what it is, but I would redo this and put the, a bar down here. The movie theater was redone. Again, this is a color palette that goes with the house. It didn't look like this before. Everything from the lining to the carpet to the staging to the lighting, everything was changed out in this. Now, a very cool feature here is Got a great little wine, wine room right there. But the best feature about this whole lower level has to be two things for me. One, this is almost giving me like Turkish bathhouse vibes. This has given me, because of this beautiful spa, and I don't forget, you've got a spa or jacuzzi upstairs. This is a spa. This is when you say spa, you've got this daylight coming in so you don't feel full subterranean. The designer whitewashed all this. It was all yellow, kind of felt like Fred Flintstone-y before. And now you've got it all lime washed or whitewashed. This was kind of that whimsical at the time, but felt like a little bit kooky and outdated. Uh, you know, the sky that was like the heavens, like you felt like you were at the Caesar's Palace. It was all just whitewashed and made look clean. Still European. We're not trying to say this house is modern, but it feels updated and new. Of course, a spa wouldn't be a spa without a steam room and a dry sauna. So you got both those, box checked, box checked. And check this out. You've got a beautiful couple's massage room. This is after you got a long workout, you and your best friend, you and your mate, your spouse, you and your trainer, whoever, just get in here and get to work and you get to relax, get worked on. You got plenty of storage space down here. This is a proper spa. You could go upstairs, swim laps, and there's an actual full gym. The other thing I was saying, my other second favorite feature down here has to be the garage. It's an eight car garage. You don't have to move things around. There's, there's showcase spaces and there's an actual full gym in the garage. It will show you on the B-roll as well too. So we are on the upper level, technically the third level of the property where the bedrooms are for the owners and the main guests. You got three bedrooms up here. I think we saved some of the best for last. I love this open area. Obviously for this particular house, they could have run like a bonus room or something over the dining room, but you wouldn't have had those double vaulted ceilings and just the drama in the dining room is extraordinary. Why don't you guys come with me? We walked up the dual staircases that you see in the front of the house. There is a back staircase right here as well. Super convenient. It's a very selfish elevator for the owner because it kind of terminates or just opens up right into the owner's suite. Now, check this out. Proper, proper primary. You've got a wet bar, fridge, sink. You can make coffee, have a glass of wine, whatever you need to in the morning. This room probably went through one of the biggest transformations. There was older flooring. There was gold gilding. There was faux painting. There was silk curtains everywhere. This looked like the actual princess's room in a hotel or a castle in Versailles. And it was now changed to something that's beautiful and elegant and so much more tame. You've got some of the best views of the entire property here. And if you guys come outside and take a look, this property, my goodness, my goodness. You've got the majestic Pelican Hill Resort right in front of you. Catalina's 12 o'clock. You can see the tip, the south tip of uh, Palos Verdes there. And you can see the entire island. I can see all the water vessels and boats in the water. This is picturesque. I mean, during the boat, boat show when there was a regatta, you can see all that. And then the cool thing is with the jetty right in front of you, the mouth of the harbor, on weekends, that thing's just gonna be lit up with yachts and boats and everyone just going back and forth to Catalina, it was actually just the Catalina wine mixer. That's a real thing. That wasn't just only in that movie, Step Brothers. So if you come on through here, I love the staging in this house. You get this floating seating area with the bedroom. None of it feels kind of wasted space or too tight. It's not overdone with furniture. It's just very subtle and elegant. You've got a beautiful closet here. If you take a look at this, You've got lots of great storage space, shoes, drawers here, glass cabinets, all super high end. Now, a big decision that was made for this particular property was the, um, sorry, a lot of these lights are on sensors. Um, th th this was probably one of the parts of the house that was most taste specific. The owners thought when they originally built the house that they were gonna be the only ones in here, which they are, maybe besides the kids. So there was like mosaic tile with a, a woman with a, you know, cut some kind of pot of urine with water coming out of it. And it was just, it was just very, very, you know, neoclassical to the extent where it felt it time warped the property back to the late 90s or early 2000s. 
the interior designer and his team ended up doing a beautiful, beautiful floating tub. The other one was like a deck tub that had all these steps. It was overkill. It really killed the space in the room. The mural, everything was deleted. Just look at this classic Carrera marble. This Carrera marble looked good, even though it's brand new. It looked good when it was installed in homes 20 years ago. Didn't have this kind of big mitered edge. It'll look great 20 years from now. And this is the classic styling that the interior design team wanted to do for this particular property. The primary suite has this massive, massive outdoor balcony space. If someone needed a little bit more space or a second closet, you could, you could easily enclose that space because you have roof overhang. But I just love that. Um, you've got not just one, but you got two water closets here. Ton, tons and extra storage. This is the second water closet. And for those of you who don't know, we're calling toilet rooms uh, water closets these days. We're keeping it real classy. And if you guys come with me, we're back into the hallway of the upper you know, kind of bedroom floor. This is a cool feature, by the way, because you've got your laundry all the way in two levels below. You got a stackable washer and dryer, so you don't have to, God forbid, go all the way down two floors to the laundry. This is your kind of street facing or non ocean view guest suite. This room is substantial. You've got tons of storage. You got a fireplace. You obviously, you know, you've got seating outside, but you could have put like two chairs or a couch here. We put one chair in the corner just to make the room kind of feel as big as possible. A great remodel, kind of carried over with the Carrera marble here. And look at this a countertop. I'm sure we're gonna get the B-roll in on the, uh, on all the slabs. I mean, you could see when you're asking this kind of dollar amount, you can't just use tile in the bathrooms. You've got to use slab stone. And that's what was done here. Big balcony spaces to kind of mirror what's going on in the primary suite from the street. So you've got a symmetrical viewpoint. Now, I'm not saying I have a favorite kid because I love my two children equally, but this particular room is definitely probably going to be used by your favorite child because it's got as good of a view, if not better than the primary suite. This is the dramatic ocean view. My goodness, God, I can't even look at it. It distracts me so much. You've got this great kind of ceiling treatment with the millwork and the pitch in the middle, uh, seating, again, another fireplace and almost identical bathroom and walk-in closet to the other bedroom. These are two huge guest suites. They're not tiny little rooms. A lot of times we walk into eight, nine, 10, 11, 12,000 square foot properties and parts of the house feel like they're normal homes. And People that you know usually live in these homes, they've all moved to these mansions to get mansion-esque or estate-style quality spaces. So we're on the balcony of one of the guest suites here in 16 Channel Vista. Look at the view kind of as you look over your pool. If I blindfolded you and brought you here, you'd think you're in a hotel. And that's really why people spend these absorbent dollars to try to buy these trophy properties. It's because it gives you hotel or mansion-esque qualities in your own residence. And this property does not disappoint. From front to back, top to bottom, it screams luxury, it screams privacy. It has obviously everything kind of wrapped around the view. I've been in some of these properties where you have to go look for the view. This property hits you over the head from so many rooms, almost every room, and it just doesn't stop with just the view. This house has scale, grandeur, and it's been updated. The remodel on this is what makes it super rare. It's the wild card. There's a lot of listings right now in the market in Newport Coast and even Crystal Cove on homes that aren't brand new. Nobody wants to go and take a eight to 15,000 square foot house. This one happens to be a little over 10,000 and do the type of remodel. Let me tell you what has to happen. You've got to get up and move out. You've got to hire a design team. You've got to spend millions of dollars. You've got to manage a project. You've got to hurt the cats of the contractors and it's not easy. And at the end, guess what? Here's the question that nobody asks themselves. Did I get it right? This house got it right. They used an actual interior designer. They used an actual construction team and they didn't skimp on anything. Just like when they originally built the house, they carried that theme of quality and not only quality, but executing the style right. When this home was built, it was done right. When it's been remodeled, it's been done right. Somebody gets to get that as a gift and they don't have to do it themselves because everyone's like, oh, I'll do the remodel myself. I've walked into a lot of remodels on homes that I've sold to people. And afterwards I'm like, I don't think they got it right. And that's nothing to say about their style. If they want to paint the house pink, that's up to them. But don't ask a realtor like myself to sell it for you and get you a crazy number unless you get it done right. And that's what this house says. It's been done right. It checks all the boxes, big garage, lots of rooms, theater, spa, views from everywhere. It just checks aux, more and more boxes, resort style backyard, 
but it's on a trophy lot. And that's really what sets 16 Channel Vista apart from so many homes. It's a trophy lot. It's got the square footage and it's been renovated. That's what makes this house different than almost anything else on the market. And that's what's gonna command a record price for this house.